Now what we've done is that we downloaded the SUSOP server and the SUSOP agent from the evalesco.com website. Now I'll start installing the SUSOP server. Here I type in the SMTP server SUSOP should use for sending out email alerts. Here type in the reply to address for the email alerts. Here I choose to configure a virtual folder in ease for the web interface. I could also choose use build in web server if I did not have ease configured on my server. That's it, the SUSOP server is installed and up and running. Now let's continue and install the SUSOP agent. Here I choose to type in the DNS name for the server. Now this specifies where the agent should check in. The default check in is the root domain. Now I could choose to test the connection. Now the SUSOP server tells me that the agent was not configured on the SUSOP server, you should configure a node with the exact same name as the agent on the SUSOP server after the installation. Now a simple way to configure the node is to finish this installation and start the agent. I'll do that. That's it, the agent has been installed. Now let's jump back to the SUSOP web interface. Now I could choose to use an auto discover, but in this case I'm just setting up a test, so I just want to start monitoring a single node. Now I can see the SUSOP agent has contacted the SUSOP server. In order to start monitoring the SUSOP the new agent, please click configure in the main menu to the left and afterwards click setup notes which will appear below the search field in the left pane. Let's do that. Now here see a check-in from an unknown agent has secured setup node. Here I see my agent has checked into my server. I accept the incoming agent. Shortly the agent will check in here.
that's it, the agent has checked in. Now we'll continue to configure and set up a simple ping check on this node. First I want to assign my node to a node class. Now I choose also assign. The SUSE observer will now assign node classes to this server. That's it. Now we see that the SUSE observer has assigned different node classes to this server. We see one of them is called pingable node and also it has assigned it to the Microsoft Windows node class and it has defined it as a Windows Server 2003. Now I'll continue to configure my node classes and set up a node class for the ping check. I go to node classes in the root domain. Here I choose application. I scroll down and I find my pingable node class. Here I see that one node is assigned to this node class. We see that it's the server we just installed the agent on and assign the node classes to. Now I'll set up my ECMP check. I choose net checks. Here you see different kind of net checks that SUSE can perform. Now I found ECMP check and press add. I choose to give this check a label. Press OK. And now shortly I expect to see a ping check on this node. That's it. The server has been pinged by the SUSE observer. Now let's go and check it out. Here I see a summary and everything is fine right now. I choose my net check and here I see the ping check checking out fine. And I can click here and see the graph for the check. Here I see the check is already started to being monitored. Here I can also scroll down and choose to go back in time for later use. That's it. Now you can watch the next video and see us continue how we set up some agent checks on this, this node.